What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. Alright guys, this is going to be one of the first times I've ever actually edited a video. Let me tell you, it took a lot of effort, I took a lot of effort. So if this video hits about 50k views, I'll continue doing it this format because I think you guys will enjoy it. But if it doesn't, quite honestly, it's not worth the amount of effort I put in. It took a lot of time. Uh, so this is why I don't edit, I just raw dog everything, everything's just raw. So anyways, this is going to be a video about how to build, how to use, and what the best ways to actually go around making the best Yusu one, okay? Now she is going to be the best fire unit in the game currently, so I'm gonna break down everything from A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, the best artifacts, the best accessories, her best skill rotation, and why you actually wanna use her in any squad you possibly can, and everything that she offers you as a DPS mage with buffs and debuffs and how she makes your fire team that much better. So without further ado guys, let's jump into the video. Remember, this is edited for the first time. Hope you guys enjoy it. Try to get those 50k views guys. If it happens, every single other video I make when it comes down to building a unit will be done this way. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to go into all of her skills and go over this whole thing. So the first thing, model, marksman, stage one, two, three, just basic fire damage percentages, pretty straightforward. Skill two is going to be her core damage, 800% fire elemental damage when the skill hits and causes airborne. Skill three is the trick shot, which gives you the buff, 800% damage, 150% MP consumption, and from fire elemental damage as well, too. She also bounces backwards and kill shot. Kill shot is actually incredible. 1450 in terms of percent, does fire skill, does airborne, and always deals fire elemental damage as if the target's weakness is regardless of what the element is so she will always do fire damage here guys which is an absolutely incredible trait to have so you're always going to have some form of weakness with this skill kill shot is her bread and butter the support skill she will do 800 damage also giving jinu the spotlight effect increasing his defense penetration by 16 percent and some damage as well too and this is her qte coming in doing 800 damage plus knockdown and fire damage of course and then lastly here you go this is a zero doom blast where she will do 2750 percent of her attack with fire damage and then of course this is going to be her skills when the user does trick shot or firing she'll do spotlight on herself and then she'll do magic firearm so spotlight essentially gives you the 24 percent defense penetration and then gives her damage increase and magic firearm summons these little robots that will do 40 percent of her damage plus do magic reaction effect magic reaction effect will reduce the fire damage from the opponent taken by one percent stacking up to 20 times so here is her a zero version okay this is very straightforward. The rotation is very, very simple. You always want to keep, keep up trick shot and you want to always keep up that buff. We'll show you the buff very shortly. And that is pretty much it. You want to do as much core damage and kill shot as you can. There's the buff right there. You guys can see it right it's it's on the right there the little arrow pointing at it that's the buff that's going to give you the defense penetration and damage increase based on your defense penetration and then you essentially want to just continue dodging keeping your distance and then doing trick shot to keep that up and then kill shot to do as much damage as you can while using your core skills to do as much damage as possible now her alt obviously will bring in a little bit more you guys will see shortly right here where she summons her magic reaction which is going to be the little robots right there and then you see the top right there on the on there the arrow that's pointing up on the on the opponent now they're getting the reduction to fire damage which helps her as well as any other fire damage unit do more okay so it goes up to a stack of 20 times now this is her weapon very important increases the user's defense penetration by four percent and the damage that her skills will do by eight percent that's at a zero you want to push that as far as you can a one when kill shot hit it activates the core attack giving the core damage more attack also does the madness buff and the madness buff allows after doing your core attack hellfire which increases the damage by 30 percent and also removes the madness effect when you do it. Okay, so I'll show you guys how this works. Now, this is a very important one. This is probably the best advancement for her for free to play until you get to A3. A3 is just technically the sweet spot, but I'll show you guys the difference here and why this is so important and why this becomes the, the biggest impact for her because of what kill shot becomes, how her core damage is activated, plus the fact that you actually get to do your, your robots come out quicker, etc. right? So here, rotation changes a little bit more now. So you always want to start with uh, the, the trick shot there. And then you want to do, there you go. You can see core activates right there. Now you get that buff right there. It's called madness. You, but the moment you activate that right there, you also summon out your robots, which means they're also going to do the magic reaction. So now the fire debuff starts way before the ultimate even needs to go off. So now you're doing way, way, way more damage on everything you're performing. Whether it's going to be from trick shot, it's not trick shot, sorry, from kill shot, 
to your core damage because your core damage increases then you're doing your madness uh, and then you're going to do the hellfire and then now you can, as you can see right there we're at 20 stacks of the magic reaction doing all of your fire damage even more now if this opponent was weak to fire damage you'd be killing it way way faster right there you guys go that's essentially a one and it is the most pivotal part for any free to play now at is pretty straightforward you get an extra 10 percent defense penetration there's no need to show you gameplay on that. It's just an extra 10% flat defense penetration. A3, when trick shot hits, it grants an attack bonus of 24%. The rotation now changes a little bit, and I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about why and show you why. Okay, now this is the ultimate free-to-play sweet spot. Now watch this. When you do trick shot here, you're gonna see something else. Right there. There's an extra buff right there. That now is 24% more attack power, and the rotation is simple. You want to continuously keep that up the entire battle if you don't you're losing quite a bit of damage now watch what happens here it drops off it's gone and look i do damage but i lost 24 percent right there so i got to keep it back up right there it is again with trick shot so the goal is to continuously keep trick shot and that attack up while doing more damage through that a3 a4 pretty straightforward an extra 12 percent attack power given to her flat no need to show gameplay on that. And A5 becomes a little bit crazy. Now, A5 she is the ultimate for her. Increase the damage of kill shot and Hellfire by 4% for each instance of magic reaction up to an 80% more damage. So you guys remember that little debuff that the opponent gets when it's 20 stacks of it? Well, now you're adding up to 80% more damage on your two main skills, Trick Shot and your Hellfire, okay? Or or your, your normal kill shot, right? Right there. Now watch what happens. Right now it's not being applied, right? But the moment you do, there it is. Once the robots start coming out right there, you see those stacks now? Now you're doing 4% extra damage for each stack right there, up to 80%. So 4 times 20 obviously is 80%. Now all of those, those basic skills, the kill shot, as well as the, the hellfire, as well as your trick shot, are all now doing an extra 80% damage. So A5 is absolutely nutty. I highly, highly recommend if you are a whale, aim for this um a lot of people are saying she's a skip i'll be quite honest with you i don't agree i don't agree on this one i think she's gonna be she's an incredible unit with way way too much firepower to let go all right guys so welcome back now that we've done the entire advancement from a0 to a5 i'm going to talk a little bit about her artifacts and which ones best suit her there are quite a few options okay now remember she is built for defense penetration so ideally what you want to do is you want to have a four piece arm set but right now, because the arm set is level 55, your CP will be a little bit lower until re they reintroduce those sets at level 73 and up, right? And that's going to happen probably in the near future. I'd imagine probably next update. But until then, we're going to talk about all the best artifacts you want to use her and how you can maximize the amount of damage she does essentially, right? So first off, uh, the more common sense ones. All right, let's talk about that. The arm set, like I said, four piece arm set is going to give you guys the attack power that she needs. Plus it's going to help you ignore 15% of the targets uh, defense, which essentially is a built in defense penetration. It does not scale as part of her stats though. Keep that in mind. This is just additional 15 flat percent of defense penetration, which is great for her because again, she scales off of attack and her, she's built to be defense penetration unit. So arm set is a no brainer. Now, because like I mentioned, the level 55 sets, the level 50 sets that are, you're going to be using, the CP will be lower. Until you get the level 73 versions, you may want to consider going in for a two-piece two-piece curse set, two-piece arm set, and then for here, you can either go expert, you can go for the behemoth, or you can go full eight-piece curse set. All that works as well too. Now, the question becomes, can you build a crit damage even though she's meant to be a defense penetration uh, unit? Absolutely you can. I use both crit and defense penetration quite honestly they're both extremely viable so you can also build her full toughness set as well too and then have yourself like champion on the field or expert set that works as well too but right now the most maximized amount of damage you could do is a four piece armed two piece curse and then two piece of whatever else you plan to put on her okay that's what's going to work out best if you want to go full a piece curse set as well too that works perfectly fine there's do not put greed on her greed does not work she doesn't do any break i know the leaks show breaks but she does not have any break expertise anymore she just is a full-on fire dps unit so in terms of gear again i'm just gonna reiterate four arm four expert works really well four armed four two curse and two of whatever option you want to put on her right and then four armed and then uh, four champion on the field works really well. And then four armed, four vi vi uh, Viri works. So concentration of firepower. Now, again, full eight piece curse set is incredible on her as well too. And if you plan to build her with 
uh, crit damage, you could also put on the toughness set. Now, remember one more thing. There's one other set that works really well for her, and I've tested it. I have the numbers for you guys in the data sheet. And that's the solid foundation set. Now, solid foundation set allows her to do the more core damage and faster core damage. So if you want to build her core base, then that's where a lot of your damage is going to come from because kill shot uh, becomes um, madness, right? You get the madness buff and then kill shot becomes hellfire, if I recall. I think that's the name of it. The solid foundation set is incredible as well too. So when you get the higher versions of these 4P sets, the arm set and the solid foundation set are going to be two of the best sets for her hands down. So you can as well use the solid foundation set like this right here, right? And this will actually help do more core damage and allow you to build her to do kill shot and hellfire a lot more often with more damage from her core as well. Because she gets it instantly, she gets the core damage instantly back when you get the A1 version of her, which most of you should be aiming for. All right, guys, so there you go. That is the analysis for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like the setup. Hope you enjoy the editing. This is Payne. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.